Amen. Now, there's a couple things happening in verse 37, and I want to give you, I'm going to start giving you some shockers here. Are you ready? Okay. The first thing is this. He will show no regard for the God of his fathers. So the God of his fathers, he's, we can narrow him down now. He's either a Muslim, a Jew, or a Christian. But he is more than likely from the Middle East. So I'm going to help you form your opinion. I'm going to help you form your opinion. He's probably from the Middle East because this is where he knows. This is what he knows. This is where he's setting up his camp. Number two, he's able to converse and talk to peoples in the Middle East because he knows their languages. He didn't just go to language school. He grew up here, so to speak. In other words, in that area. Third, he's not going to follow the gods of his fathers. And by the way, the uppercase and lowercase of this, I think, is, is, is done improperly. When I go and look at the original Hebrew, the word gods there is Elohim, which is the same term used for a triune God. El is referring to God singular. Elohim is referring to God plural. It's referring to God plural. He will not show regard for the Elohim of his fathers. So because he's not showing regard to the God of his fathers, I believe we can narrow that down now to a Jew or a Christian because Jews practice Judeo-Christian belief systems. All right. So we can narrow it down to that. But we can do one more thing here just in this verse. We can see that he has no desire for women. He, has, he does not seek after the desire of women. So two things could be happening. One, he could be a eunuch. In other words, he had, was castrated at some point, maybe by, in an accident. Or number two, he just doesn't have any desire for women, but only for men. Now, I want to show you something. 